Hey, what's up, guys? This is Rai Rai and uh, Razor coming back just to update you on my speaker box, speakers, bass related. All right, guys. So I bought my Aeroport. For no, t tell them why you're doing all that first. Tell them what happened with the original customized box that you got. All right, it's a piece of shit box. It's too small. It's ported like to 50 something, maybe 60 hertz. It's just a, a 50, 60 hertz is shit, guys. It's just like tuned really high. It's just not a good box at all. So I'm making. I'm gonna make a new one pretty soon. And I was just looking up on the internet about porting, how to port, box ca calculators or whatever. I decided to go with arrow ports. What is an arrow port? It's a circular port instead of the rectangular slot ports you see usually on a speaker box, which will be, you know, you see a 212s or whatever. Like the boxes that I have, like guys. The, the box that, that I have. You know, or he has, where you see the, the cut hole. And it's a uh, wood inside a uh, certain link to make it tune. All right. So I started looking to aeroports. What's an aeroport? It's a circuit. It's like a it's usually PVC tube, but um, it's like a pipe and a certain length and a certain way you make it. You can tune your box like that. The advantage is is it, it easier? It's easier if you know how to tune it. Tuning is the harder part, but as far as making boxes, it's way easier. And uh, finding the parts is like the aeroport. It's kind of hard unless you don't know. So I just looked up and I bought me a precision port. What is precision port? What's the best like brand you can buy aeroports from? Let me show y'all. Show them that big this? cylinder. See that precision? Good guys. It says precision port. And I bought this at uh, PartsExpress.com. It's the cheapest place I could find them. What? Where? PartsExpress.com. Uh, it's it spelled the same way as you said it? Spelled, it's spelled exactly PartsExpress.com. PartsExpress.com. If you can't find it, look them on Google. You'll, it's right there. This is a six-inch aeroport. It's flared. That means it has. It does this. It's a Show round side. So you guys, it's flared like, you know. All right, this is the tube. Man, that was beast. It's big. What? It, it might not look that big on the camera. I'm not sure how it looks, but it's big. Hello, Ryan. Basically, uh, you know, because of these connector rings, you would connect like that. Man. It's not cut yet. I gotta cut it to the correct tuning to my box. This is basically it. That should look like a goddamn bazooka, man. It looks like a rocket. Look, go, go, sound sideways. Huh. Boom. That shit's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that shit's that's this, a big old. This is a six. Is inch. That, you gotta cut it in half, or is that is that how? You, I gotta cut it. Or can you use the uh, whole thing? I'm using seven inches. Off of the tube, not the flare port. So it's gonna be so cut off right of here. here? Uh, yeah, off right. of here or off of here? No, no. Off the just just the main tube. Off of this. Oh, off the and main. Basically, so, I so you're gonna use seven inches of that. Like about six inches. Six so. inches. That's not that much, right? It's like right here. Yeah, it's like that. This isn't that much. So you could have two cool. holes in if you really want. If I really wanted to, I could. But uh, I don't need it. Yeah. So that's what an airport is. It uses less airspace inside your box, which is always good. So it's always good. So you, so you, that means you can have a smaller size box, then, right? Not only that, um, yeah, you can have a smaller box if your room's an issue for you, or if you have a lot of room, you can even put these on the outside of your box. You can connect it like that, you put some screws in through the side, and have your whole tube sticking outside of your box just for looks or whatever. And that would also save you. Uh, for example, airspace. show us this box right here. This. I right. close this box. Like, let's say this is your sub box. If you want, you could basically attach it like this. Now, this is just real quick. You know, you could have your whole port sticking out of your box. That shit would be crazy, yeah. yo. It'd be connected, but it'd be sticking out, you know, for looks, you know, whatever. Uh, more air space inside the box. So that's what a precision port is, or an arrow port for y'all who don't know about that. Uh, so I should be getting my new box pretty soon. I just uh, bought me an iPhone, so that's the reason I didn't make it yet. Um, getting a new radio, new battery pretty soon, so I'll update y'all whenever I get that. And we have another update too. Uh, as y'all seen, Razor's bet bump is you know two tens or Ryan H says. We're listening to that shit today, right? We're at Target, and uh, was it a Jay Z song came on? It's uh, on to the next one. On to the next one. That shit bumps. I never heard it on the on, the, on my base. I never heard it. Uh, yeah. Well, my system. So, and I was like, you know what the hell is this? Bump it up. So we bumped that shit at Target, right? And that's sure how it happens. Come on. Look, guys. Man, 
for the shit that just happened, I didn't think that would ever happen to me. I was like, hey, hold on, my keys. Where my keys at? Okay. Yeah, for the shit, man, that shit was crazy for what happened to my car. I'm sort of happy, and I'm sort of disappointed. Like, I'm mad. But it's kind of like an achievement slash... Now it's another problem that I gotta worry about. Something you call bittersweet. It's, yeah, there you go. How you got that? Bittersweet. All right, guys. See, as you can tell, my car, you know, there's nothing wrong with here. It's, I mean, if I turn it on, there's no check engine light. There's nothing, you know, nothing wrong here. So you got my system back there. The main thing that's wrong with this picture of what my happened? car, guys. Just... Show it. Wow. <laughs> wow. Look where it came off. It came off from here, man. I didn't think that would ever happen to me, man. This shit's... <sighs> it happened to me because of Jay-Z, god damn it. Damn him. So, yeah, guys. Now I got to go to AutoZone or Home Depot, whatever. Buy me some cement glue or some Gorilla Glue, Super Glue, whatever the hell it works. And do that. But most likely, if I put that glue, it's not going to hold again. So, I might have to. I don't know, man. Roll without a rearview mirror for a while, or just buy me a whole new one, man. I'm not sure yet, bro. Ryan, what do you think I should do, Ryan? I think, I think you just super glue it back on it. Yeah, but it's not. All right. Well, just, yeah, guys. Just leave it. If you leave it super glued for a while, it should work. Write comments. What do y'all think would work for that? Yeah, see. man. And uh, man, uh, yeah, I guess you showed my uh, my brother's airports, precision airports, precision ports, airports. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching, man. About the car audio. Deuce and comment and subscribe later.